Welcome to the Appendix, where we read the primary sources of the past so you can have a better understanding of what is going on in the present. Today's primary source, the Papal Bull Inter Cartera, Alexander VI, May 4th, 1493. Alexander, Bishop, Servant of the Servants of God, to the illustrious sovereigns, our very dear son in Christ, Ferdinand, King, and our very dear daughter in Christ, Isabella, Queen of Castile, we have indeed learned that you, who for a long time had intended to seek out and discover certain islands and mainlands remote and unknown and not hitherto discovered by others, to the end that you might bring to the worship of our Redeemer and the profession of the Catholic faith, their residents and inhabitants, having been up to the present time greatly engaged in the siege and recovery of the kingdom itself of Granada, were unable to accomplish this holy and praiseworthy purpose. But the said kingdom, having at length been regained, as was pleasing to the Lord, with a wish to fulfill your desire, chose our beloved son, Christopher Columbus, whom you furnished with ships and men equipped for like designs, not without the greatest hardships, dangers, and expenses, to make diligent quests for these remote and unknown mainlands and islands through the sea where hitherto no one had sailed and they at length with divine aid and with the utmost diligence sailing in the ocean sea discovered certain very remote islands and even mainlands that hitherto had not been discovered by others wherein dwell very many peoples living in peace and as reported going unclothed and not eating flesh Wherefore, as becomes Catholic kings and princes, you have purposed to bring under your sway the said mainlands and islands, and in order that you may enter upon so great an undertaking with greater readiness and hardiness, endowed with the benefit of our apostolic favor, we of our own accord, not at your insistence, the request of anyone else in your regard, but out of our own soul largest and certain knowledge and out of the fullness of our apostolic power by the authority of Almighty God conferred upon us in blessed Peter and of the vicarship of Jesus Christ, which we hold on earth, do by tenor of these presents, should any of said islands have been found by your envoys and captains give grant and assign to you and your heirs and successor, kings of Castile and Leon, forever, together with all their dominions, cities, camps, places, and villages, and all rights, jurisdictions, and opportunities, all islands and mainlands, found and to be found, discovered and to be discovered, towards the west and the south, by drawing and establishing a line from the Arctic Pool, namely the north, to the Arctic Pool, namely the South, no matter whether the said mainlands and islands are found and to be found in the direction of India or towards any other quarter, the said line to be distant 100 leagues towards the west and south from any of the islands commonly known as the Azores and Cape Verde. With this proviso, however, that none of the islands and mainlands found and to be found discovered, and to be discovered beyond that said line towards the west and south, be in the actual possession of any Christian king or prince up to the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ, just passed from which the present year, 1493, begins. Furthermore, under penalty of excommunication, latte sententi, to be incurred, ipso facto, should anyone thus contravene we strictly forbid all persons of whatsoever rank, even imperial and royal, or of whatsoever estate, degree, order, or condition, to dare without your special permit, 
or that of your aforesaid heirs and successors to go for the purpose of trade or any other reason to the islands or mainlands. Apostolic constitutions and ordinances and other decrees whatsoever to the contrary notwithstanding, let no one therefore infringe or with rash boldness contravene this our recommendation, exhortation, requisition, gift, grant, assignment, constitution, disputation, decree, mandate, prohibition, and will. Should anyone presume to attempt this, be it known to him that he will incur the wrath of Almighty God and of the blessed Apostle Peter and Paul, given at Rome, at St. Peter's, in the year of the Incarnation of our Lord, 1493, the 4th of May, and the first year of our pontificate. Thank you for joining us for today's primary source on the appendix. We will see you in the stack.